press bell button for video alerts. Hello viewers, once again before you it is, uh, this is Jay Balakrishna. So I hope you have been watching all our uh, videos on English language because our approach has been different. Right from the first video, we have been maintaining a different approach, avoiding the grammatical terminology as much as possible because uh, we do not believe in bombarding too much of technical terminology and uh, confusing our viewers. So learning has to be a simple and easy process. It should be a pleasure but not a pain. Fine. Now today in this video we are going to learn about the time. How to talk about the past time and the present time. After watching this video you will be able to talk about past and present time together. For example look at these sentences. I have been waiting since 8 a.m. Now what am I doing here? I am using the words have been. Call it a verb. It's a verb. This is subject. This is verb. I have been waiting since 8 a.m. Now you have to use this sentence when you are trying to say that you started waiting at 8 o'clock and even now you are waiting. It is continuing. It's still going on. Then you have to say, I have been waiting since 8 a.m. One more sentence. I have been the manager of this hotel for 10 years. What does it mean? 10 years back, I became the manager of this hotel and even now, I am the manager of this hotel. So 10 years back, I was the manager of this hotel. Even today, I am the manager of this hotel. So when you combine was and am, you get have been. Is it like mathematics formula? Of course it is. Just look at this. Am is are. What does it indicate? Present tense. Was and were. This indicates past tense. The combination of am is are, was and were is equal to have been and has been. This is a very important formula you have to remember. If you remember this formula, it will solve many problems. I am a batsman. I was a batsman. I have been a batsman. I am good at maths. I was good at maths. I have been good at maths. She is a popular singer. She was a popular singer. She has been a popular singer. They are naughty children. They were naughty children. They have been naughty children. It is a sensitive area. It was a sensitive area. It has been a sensitive area. It is a complicated problem. It was a complicated problem. It has been a complicated problem. So, am is are plus was were is equal to have been and has been. This concept is very useful to you when you are talking about the past and the present together. Now let us discuss more uses, how to make more and more sentences with this concept. Fine, now you just look at these examples. He has been, third person singular, so we use has, you know this very well and we have discussed it in our earlier videos about uh, he and has, how to use this. He has been my best friend. What does it mean? He was my best friend in the past and he is my best friend now. Put together, I am saying he has been my best friend. Next sentence. 
he has been sincere he was sincere in the past and he is sincere now therefore i say he has been sincere next one he has been teaching english he was teaching english in the past and he is teaching english now so he has been teaching english then he has been in hyderabad he was in hyderabad in the past he is in hyderabad now he has been in hyderabad then see the next sentence he has been here he was here he is here he was here he is here he has been here read these sentences once again he has been my best friend he has been sincere he has been teaching english he has been in hyderabad he has been here so all these sentences are the combination of past and present you can stop the sentences here and if you want to indicate something more related to time then you have two options since or for if you are using since then you must use only the beginning he has been my best friend since 2001 january 21 he has been sincere since january 1 2010 he has been teaching english since july 4 1994 he has been in hyderabad since his birth he has been here since 7 o'clock he has been here since yesterday he has been here since 4 pm he has been here since 9 o'clock all these examples indicate beginning only the beginning of time now if you want to indicate duration then you have to use for he has been my best friend for the last 25 years that means 25 years ago he became my friend and since then he has been my best friend so he has been my best friend for 25 years he has been sincere for the last 10 years he has been teaching english for 21 years he has been in hyderabad for 35 years he has been here for a very long time he has been here for the last four and a half hours he has been here for one hour so this is the way of talking about beginning and duration so this is subject this is verb has been third person singular so we use has been now what about these things if you observe carefully this is noun with or without adjective he has been a doctor he has been a lawyer he has been a teacher he has been a journalist he has been a photographer this is adjective he has been good he has been bad he has been corrupt he has been honest he has been sincere he has been regular he has been punctual and what not this is ing form he has been eating he has been sleeping he has been suffering he has been working he has been acting these are prepositional phrases he has been with me for a very long time the book has been on the table for a very long time she has been in icu since yesterday the car has been in front of the gate these are prepositional phrases she has been abroad she has been upstairs she has been downstairs she has been here she has been there place adverbs so technically you can use nouns adjectives ing forms prepositional phrases place adverbs to make sentences but remember when you are using has been like this you are involving past and present together fine 
Now we come to the terminology for the conservative teachers, for the conservative students. Some people call it present, perfect, continuous tense. Some people call it present perfect. Now it is not necessary to go into all those details. What do we call it? Your job is how to use it. Do I know how to use has been in English language? That is your job. So in this video, we have told you how to use has been and have been to talk about past and present time together. Now this part concentrated only on has been. Now same way you can also make examples with have been. I'll tell you how to make sentences with have been because if it is a singular person you will use of course has, has been. If it is a plural subject you don't use has been you will have to use have been. Now I'll tell you how to use have been. Just put any plural part here. They have been my best friends. That's all. The meaning is the same. Then they have been sincere. They have been teaching English. They have been in Hyderabad. They have been here. The rest of the things are the same. We have been your best friends. We have been sincere. We have been teaching English. We have been in Hyderabad. We have been here. So if it is singular, he, she, it, Anil, Ravi, Ram, Sham, Sita, Gita, it. If it is plural, you, they, we, children, workers, doctors, teachers, lawyers. This is the way of using have been and has been to make sentences. Now if you want to use it negatively, this is the area. He has not been my best friend. He has not been sincere. He has not been teaching English. He hasn't been in Hyderabad for a very long time. He hasn't been here. They haven't been my best friends. They haven't been my colleagues. They haven't been my good neighbors. They haven't been sincere. They haven't been good at their work. They haven't been regular. They haven't been punctual. They haven't been teaching English. They haven't been coming regularly. They haven't been playing properly. They haven't been in Hyderabad. They haven't been here. Now what about the question forms? It's very simple. This person comes here. Has he been my best friend? Has he been sincere? Has he been teaching English? Has he been in Hyderabad? Has he been here? Has he been? Same with have. Have they been my best friends? Have they been teaching English? Have they been sincere? Have they been in Hyderabad? Have they been here? Now if you want to use since and for to make questions, I'll tell you how to use them to make questions. Now look at these sentences. Since when? For how long? Now these expressions will help you to frame questions. Since when have you been here? Since when have you been here? Now my, by making this question I am trying to know the point of time. Since when have you been here? I have been here since 9 am. Since when have you been? the president of India. I have been the president of India since May 26, 2010. Since when have you been suffering from fever? I have been suffering from fever since yesterday morning. Since when have you been serious? I have been serious since 3 p.m. This is the way to frame questions with since when to know the beginning. If you want to know the duration, then you have to use for how long. For how long have you been in the USA? I have been in the USA for the last 
20 years. For how long has the patient been critical? The patient has been very critical for the last 17 days. For how long have you been here? I have been here for four and a half hours. For how long have they been with you? They have been with me for the last 48 hours. For how long has this car been here? This car has been here for the last four days. So to know the duration for how long? To know the point of time since when? So these are the ways of framing questions. So fine, in this video we have learnt about have been and has been. All that you need to remember is these two forms are used to talk about past and present together at a time. In all our videos, we have been trying to share the knowledge of English language with you in the simplest way. In all our videos, we have been teaching you communicative expressions. It has been our sincere effort to make learning English as simple as possible, as easy as possible. So I hope you have been watching all our videos regularly. I hope you have been finding all our videos regularly. I hope it has been very easy for you to learn English language through our videos. Thanks for watching this video and keep watching our channel to know more and more about English language, to know more and more simple and easy ways of learning English language. God bless you. Keep learning. We wish you all a successful learning. Thank you and have a great time. Subscribe to the channel for more videos.